Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm answering one of your questions about the biggest challenges you have as a writer. Today's question comes from Allegories Horror Stories. I don't know if your name is supposed to flow like that, but I love it. I love it a lot. And I haven't seen Ella around in a bit, so it was nice to hear from you. It's been about five years since I wrote anything. No ideas, no motivation, too much other crap going on in my head. Nothing creative. Okay, there's actually quite a lot to work with here, so this is pretty awesome. First thing I would say is, and you probably already do this but in case you don't and if this sounds like you out there just anyone watching this if like you can relate to this question start journaling every day you have to just do it every day one of the reasons why a lot of people who used to write don't write anymore is is that they fell out of the habit of writing once you break a habit it's really hard to get back on it okay so it takes anywhere from like three weeks to a month or 30 days to start a habit. So all you gotta do is tell yourself, today is June 8th is the day I'm recording this video. So I'm gonna start my journal today and I'm gonna write until, I don't know, July 8th, however many fucking days that is. And just tell yourself you're gonna do this. This is the goal you've set. It's not a big deal. You don't have to write a lot. It could be a couple lines. It could be a sentence. I feel like shit. That's it. But you date it. And that's what you have. Get into this and start doing it. And then at least the the drive, the, the motor skills, the I feel like this, so my hands now do this. All that shit comes back. Whether you're doing it by hand, whether you're typing it on a fucking old school typewriter, whether you're doing it in a notepad in your phone. I would rather you do it by hand or like type it on a thing because that's probably where you're going to be writing your work. So that's the first thing. The second thing is no ideas, no motivation, too much other crap going on in my head. Nothing that's creative. This might be one of those things where you have to not worry about what kind of stuff you're writing but that you're just writing because i'm going to give you an example here i when i got into like heavy writing that wasn't music i was at first writing a horror novel like a splatterpunk horror novel and then i was making these low budget um horror films or exploitation films depending on who i was working for at the time and I was writing those scripts. It's not that I got bored doing it, but I soon realized that even though that's what I was a huge fan of growing up, I love my horror shit. As I was aging, I was realizing, wow, like some of the things that scare me most are my crippling anxiety and man, like mankind. Like they're scarier than any horror movie villain ever. And so I started writing more about that shit, writing about my own anxiety, uh, my depression, my irrational fears. There's a fucking book title right there. I don't know why I haven't used that yet. Irrational fears. That's great. Patent pending. And then I realized that I wasn't really writing horror. I kept calling them horror and I would like submit them to like horror magazines and shit and get rejected and they'd be just like yeah this isn't scary this isn't horror like the, the, there's nothing horrific about this and i'm like what are you talking about anxiety is terrifying and all this other shit and i i just realized that i wasn't writing what i thought i was writing then i started writing books and putting my books up on amazon and stuff and the thing with Amazon is you can put your books up and you can put what category your books are in but then if you don't put them in the right genre people are going to get pissed off so like for instance like i thought the black star series was like a mystery because it was mysterious and there was a mystery to be solved in it but mystery readers did not think that was mystery they thought it was fucking horror i honestly just thought it was a mystery um i i, I couldn't see what I was doing. But the idea here is, is that there's a lot of times when we 
don't do something because that's not our wheelhouse. So instead of just writing about our lives, writing about what we're going through, like journaling what our day was like, we don't write anything because that's not what our preconceived notion of what we were supposed to be writing was. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what your specific genre was. I'm going to guess it was along the lines of horror, but like maybe that's not what you are supposed to be writing, you know? Maybe that's not it. And then you're, you're saying you're not motivated, you're, you're not inspired and stuff like that. Like, if the things you are reading, the shows you're watching, the movies you're watching, the music you're listening to, the art you are taking in, if those things aren't inspiring you, then you need to knock that shit off. Cut that shit out and go back to the things that did inspire you. Find those things. If it's a book you've read 10 times, read it an 11th time. If it's a movie you've seen a hundred times, watch it a hundred and one times. Watch whatever you have to watch, listen to whatever you have to listen to, read whatever you have to read to inspire you, if that's the thing that gets you going. And then from there, you could get into all sorts of other stuff. I have noticed, especially the booktube type community, that a lot of people who are writers who are on booktube, horror tube part of booktube they feel like they have to keep up with the joneses and keep reading all these books that aren't very good because that's what everyone else is reading keep reading these books that you don't really like because this book's getting a lot of views on youtube shit like that when something you enjoy you stop enjoying it but you're still doing it you're going to start resenting that and you never want to resent your art you never want to resent your creativity now, beyond all of these things that I just said, the other thing here is, is that depression is something that causes this as well. When you are super depressed, the things you enjoy doing, you stop enjoying doing. Okay? So this is why I feel like writing for therapy is such a huge fucking thing. Like, my book, The End of Everything. Like, this is how the whole thing fucking happened. You know? Like, nothing felt good anymore. I was super depressed. I was gonna fucking off myself. I, I was done. And I couldn't see a fucking doctor about it. It was gonna be like a three-month wait or something like that. So I just started writing. And, like, the first day, I wrote very little second day I wrote a little bit more didn't write for a couple days next time I sat down wrote a little bit more by the next week I was just all night every night um, and that's where that book came from so having your depression if that's what you have I don't know I'm not diagnosing you or anything I'm just saying if you are one of these people that have this not you Ella but anyone watching this if this is you where you feel like you have, you're not motivated to do anything that you used to love as far as art goes, just start writing about how you're feeling about your depression. Write about how you feel at that exact moment. What you want to do, what you don't want to do. Just everything about it. Like Write about what the table that you're writing on looks like. Write about what you see outside your window. Write about what's on the fucking table in front of you. Just write and ha watch your emotions just start pouring out. Because they're all in there wanting to come out. But like it's been stifled. So all you have to do is just open the floodgates. And that will just pour out. And once you get the habit going again, everything else falls together. Okay? And you can do anything you want. You could write any genre you want. You could write stories, flash fiction, epic novels. You could do whatever the fuck you want. Just have stuff around you that inspires you, that makes you want to create. And fucking create. Okay? So hopefully that helped, Ella. And hopefully other people watching this, that helped. Be sure you fucking break that thumb, son. 
and um, subscribe to the channel if you found this useful or encouraging at all. That's awesome. And um, for those of you who are already subscribed or whatever, if you haven't joined the Anarchy Crew yet, what the fuck are you waiting for? I have like over 150 videos of writing tips and lessons and workshops and all sorts of crap. You could get on in on that. Bloodshed Review, out now. Um, it's a lit mag. It's the first issue. It's pretty cool. Um, Winner Your Mom's Sonomy Prize for Poetry, the paperback, it comes out on June 15th. Extra, extra. It's also over at my Etsy shop with Bloodshed Review. You can pick that up right now as well. If you have any questions about writing or like the things that are keeping you from creating, anything of that nature, leave those down in the comments and I'll make a video of those too. Okay? So keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.